Have you ever wondered, wow, I suck at disc golf. Why can't I throw accurate shots? Do I have depression from hitting way too many trees from missing my lines? Well, here's how not to suck at disc golf and how to extend your limits for better, more rewarding rounds. And trust me, there's gonna be a lot of talking in this video and a lot of very helpful talking. So pay attention and your game is going to improve so much. All right, as you've seen from the intro, that was a very epic intro and probably the best intro I will ever do. <laughs> It'll be a lot of talking and a lot of information. So get ready. If you want to get better at disc golf and you've been on this plateau of being very insanely good disc golfer, but you've been stuck, there's a problem. You wanna figure that problem out, this is the video for you. Today we're gonna to be working over what you need to do to get to that next level of disc golf, like where the pros are right now at Worlds. Worlds is actually today. I know who the winner is, it is Isaac Robinson. Congratulations, it just happened. Um, Anthony Barella was who I was rooting for and he got second, so congrats to him. I mean, we're kinda, got, we're kinda off topic here, but that was a very exciting moment. <laughs> and if you wanna be on the level of them, Make sure to watch through this entire video because we're going over a lot of things and I'm very excited. All right, what are we going to be doing in this video? Today, I gathered two professional disc golfers that have played several tournaments and that I think are better than me <laughs> at the moment, obviously. I'm gonna be comparing my form to one of them, which is, oh my God, that's a road runner. <laughs> Look at this. I'm gonna take a video of this. Okay, I got off topic there. Let's continue. I gathered two professionals under their names. You'll find out one of them later in the video. But to start off this video and what you guys need to know throughout the video, it's the professional Joe Mama Games, AKA my brother. He has played several tournaments. He's had way more experience than I have. I've had 13 years of experience in this game. Taught me everything I've known and he's been my main inspiration for disc golf and why I do YouTube. And he's gonna be working you guys through what you need to look out for in this video because there's a lot of main things that I'm going to be talking about. So I wanna keep you guys in the loop throughout the video. Oh, epic transition to Joe Mama Games. Wow! Cool transition, bro. Literally. I am Disc Golf Aiden's little brother. Obviously the little brother. He is much older. And I guess you could say, I disc golf a little bit. I guess you could say, I disc golf a little bit. I guess you could say, I disc golf a little bit. So Disc Golf Aiden asked me to record some form of uh, anything, but primarily backhand, and ask for any specific advice I have. So I'm 960 rated. I'm supposed to be like 980, but I keep dislocating my shoulder. So that's a fun story. But I've been told that I have a very unique form. Now my backhand isn't that unique. Uh, there's a lot of things I can work on, but I can average about 420 feet. And then my sidearm is what's very unique. So I'll talk a little bit about both, but I'm sure Aiden's video is gonna be about other things besides me. So I'll make this incredibly short. First to start off with any form is how you hold it. How I, so this is a Toro, how I hold my putters or like my mid ranges when I drive them is like this. I kind of have like a, a fan. My drivers, I have all four fingers flush on the rim and then my thumb is about here. This disc holds a record in Australia. It's pretty cool. It's a cool disc. Katana, get one. Not sponsored by Innova though, that's fine. So next would definitely be the follow through. You can see in this clip right here that I have my arm very flat. That's one of the most important things. And then hitting that little power box. I don't know what the other professionals call it, but it's when you unleash all of that power. And it's like all of those different things combining into one. You have your, you have your shoulder, your waist, your hips, you have your elbow, which then follows into your wrist. And that all, it all combines into one fluid motion that all hit this one pocket to go all at the same time. <laughs> I had like read a notification on my watch mid pull through. <laughs> okay, one other thing, whenever I play, I have to have my watch on my non-throwing hand. It might mess you up too. Joe, it's supposed to be on your non-dominant anyways, I get it. I have a tattoo so the heart rate sensor doesn't pick up my heart rate. 
over the tattoo, but just in case you don't. And then for my sidearm, I think I have some footage somewhere of my sidearm. What I have very unique about that is that I don't get the majority of my power from like a very long pull through. It's all in like one little explosive pocket that can become very sporadic and it's the same concept with backhand. It's very important you have a follow through. You can have the most like powerful and spontaneous little poof but if you don't have the follow through and the hand remains there when you're done, it's pointless and you might as well just call it quits. So whether it's backhand, whenever you're done, you stay in that form. Whenever you're done throwing, you stay in that form. And then one other thing I see a lot of, of people screw the pooch on is when you go to throw, this always helps me, some people aren't the same, but keep the disc level the whole way through. You're gonna keep it level the whole way through. I know you're not throwing it over here, or like even when you're like, a lot of people do this, they go, and then right here, they flatten it out. It's flat the whole way. Just, just get yourself trained up to it. Trying to like have a form in my room. <laughs> it's really difficult. Same with sidearm. If you just have it flat the whole time, the whole time, it'll get you even that more ready to have a clean follow through. Besides that, this is Aiden's video, so I'm not gonna talk anymore. Thanks for having me on your channel. This has been fun, very, very fun. And uh, hopefully I'll see you goons later. Bye. What does Aiden call his subscribers? His children? No, he's too young to have children. His mentees, <laughs> his little As you guys can see this is a different day and I'm very sorry for that. I made this part of the video having a really good idea but then it kind of just kind of got everywhere so I want to restart it and kind of just smoothen my words out and make this as simple as I possibly can because I want this to be as easy for you to understand as possible. You wanna get better and you wanna be just like the pros. And one of the pros here, we're actually gonna be going over their form. And he's one of my best friends and someone that I really found his form to be like insanely impressive recently. And his name is Adrian Garduno. He has some of the best form ever, man. It's actually crazy. All right, I hope you enjoy Joey's little introduction there on just the basics of what you should be looking out for. We're going to be going over some form here, and I really want you guys to understand what I'm talking about, because there's going to be a lot of times where I say certain terms, and I want you guys to know them, and just know, just keep these three tips in mind. These three tips are have a solid grip, fan or power grip, whatever's most comfortable. Follow through every shot. Finish where you complete your throw and hold. This is a very important thing for consistency. And the third one is keep your arm flat and controlled through whole throw. Don't overextend and keep the disc high mid throw. And keep it all level and make sure it doesn't go up here when you do throw. So I've known Adrian for a super long time. We actually went to elementary school together and I've seen, we both seen the worst of our forms and I, we actually never played for like six years recently, earlier this year. We actually linked up and we've been playing a few rounds since and I've been able to look at his form and it's changed how I think of form completely. It blows my mind away. You're gonna have to make a video so you guys can just really see what his form's about because I don't think he has any videos of him playing any rounds. So he does have an Instagram. It actually just got hacked. So put that in the, in the description it's the only thing he posts on so <laughs> i don't know how to shout you out but just thanks for giving us videos of your form so we can go over the importance of just clean form because oh my god adrian has some pro tour form and we're the same age it's crazy all right so as you can see this is a very simple throw there's not really much to it um especially compared to my form it's actually a big difference but you can see he has a pretty simple run up it's very smooth, flat and controlled the whole way, the entire way. He has very good weight transfer. He gets everything off at one second, gets that foot down and completes that throw amazingly. The one thing I really love about his form is that he just keeps everything straight. I mean, there's nothing like 
anywhere other than straight and forward and he has a super far reach back which if you remember what Joey just went through he said not to overextend there's a difference between getting a big reach back and overextending extending can be very bad but as you can see I'll put a video here of Anthony Barilla um, I think he really performs this action very well he gets his arm way back and it's not overextending it's just a lot of reach back to get that massive power that he has to put out there on the course. But Adrian, they're cousins, so I would assume they have similarities in form. Um, and I find a lot of his form to be very similar to Anthony's, except his is just smooth and controlled. He has a very slow run up in a way, and it doesn't look like he's going to rip it like 500 feet, but trust me, he could probably... I know he can rip 500 feet with this form. It's actually crazy because we played at a course called Emerald recently. It was bombing, man. It surprised me how far his throws were going with his form because it was crazy. This is the first time I've seen him bomb throws like this since we were like 10. That's how long it's been. Yeah, next let's go to my form since you have seen Adrian's. All right, so as you can see through my form here, it's very simple, nothing crazy. It's a lot more sloppy, I would think. Then Adrian's. I feel like Adrian is going to have a different opinion on this. When we were playing, impressed by both of our forms, and I think Adrian just has a way better form than I do. I kind of have my back hunched over. This was kind of a hyzer throw. It's like a straight hyzer flip type of shot. It was a very straight shot. It was beautiful, too. But the one thing I really want to mention in that I've actually been working on this. With this throw in particular, you can see my run up. It's really sloppy. It goes from straight to hard right, right here and then goes super hard left last second. So my throws are just inconsistent and everywhere. A lot of my issues back then was rounding, and I wouldn't say I have a rounding issue here, but a lot of my throws on the course, I'm turning it over like excessively. Hard anhyzers when I'm like throwing hyzers. And I think my run up has to do with that because this is such a sloppy run up, like it's everywhere. A straight run up, like Adrian's, his is super straight. Everything is in one line, that's what I feel like every YouTuber has said about form, and this is not the only video I guarantee you have seen about someone talking about form. And I'm sorry if this is sloppy and everywhere, but I'm trying to like, just give you the things you need to know to get better if you're on this plateau. Because I'm, I'm on this plateau where I'm just stuck and I haven't been going through form, so I've just been going to the course doing the same thing over and over and over again. You need to like advance from this. If you want to be just like me and want to get to the Pro Tour and win worlds, come on. You know that's where we're going. Twenty. Man, I don't. I don't want to put a date because I <laughs> get there one day. I promise. I just simplify what I really want to work on. It's having a smooth, slow run up, making sure I keep my arm up. One of the problems, and I'll go through it here again. I keep my my left hand is kind of in the way at the moment. It keeps my nose angle down the whole time. I actually did a pretty good job here from keeping it pretty flat the whole time. But a lot of my older forms, I'll put a clip here. Like I had the disc angled like this into the ground the whole way. And then I, last second I dip up and then extend up. But yeah, I, this is um, a field work video from four days ago. It was the day I filmed my last video a week ago, I guess. <laughs> um, and it's honestly the best I think my form has ever been, but it's not where I want it to be. So if I had to sum up what I'm looking for is a clean, fluid, straight run up, making sure you keep your arm flat and even nose angled up. The thing I like about Adrian, I know I've said this four million times, um, he keeps his nose angle up very well through the whole flight. And that's something I don't do. I keep it low and dig it into the ground the whole flight. So I just need to get that nose angle up even throughout my whole run up. That will give me flat, straight releases. I'll put like a tip screen here of just everything summarized because I'm probably missing a few things. I know you're going to have some disagreements with this or maybe you want to add to this. Um, let me know down in the comments down below. I want this to be a formative video for anyone um, just wanting to get better, you know, um, especially because once you get into disc golf, it's such an addicting sport because you just go out to the course and you want to get better and better and better. And recently my games have been on a plateau. I haven't gotten better. It's just been the same, you know. hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a interesting video for me is the first one I've done like teaching wise you know I make disc reviews and I go over a disc but it's not the same as just talking about form but thank you to Joe Mama Games and Adrian Garduno for letting me go through their form yeah once again if you want to go check Adrian out on Instagram it'll be down below go follow and subscribe to Joe Mama Games he hooked me up with a sick video here yeah that's gonna do it for the video I hope you enjoyed peace
all these out of the way. 